Greetings, YouTubers. So it's been about 17 months since I posted my last video on YouTube. And I wasn't sure if I was going to ever post again. Um, even though I noticed people were still subscribing to my channel, Grassroots Vegan. What finally prompted me to put a video up um, was an email I received from a fellow YouTuber who encouraged me to post videos again. And um, so I'm dedicating this video to him. Graham, this is for you. Um, so where have I been? Why did I suddenly stop posting videos? Well, to put it simply, um, I was hit with the news um, back in the summer of uh, 2010. I was hit with the news that my marriage of 13 years was effectively over. I did not expect that. I didn't expect that there was anything that seriously wrong with my marriage. So it came to me as a complete surprise. And of course, I was initially devastated by the news. After I was able to pull myself together and um, basically assess the situation. I took time off and to heal. Not. No way, I didn't have any time to heal. I was like thrown into a whirlwind of legal conflict that lasted for a year. And um, what can I say? If you think marriage is, is a big industry, I will tell you right now, divorce is an, is an even bigger industry. Um, and if marriages were to begin working, uh, I think it would have a negative impact on our economy. But that aside, the reason why I'm posting this video now is to share with you how I was able to cope going through these difficult times while still eating a diet of predominantly fruits and vegetables, a low-fat vegan diet. And, um, and I think that's, you know, prior to that, I was just prior to getting hit with the news of my marriage being over, I had reached a place of op optimal health and I was eating 100% raw fruits and vegetables with some nuts and seeds following Doug Graham's 80-10-10 style of eating. I felt great. I had just got back from the doctors with a complete physical, with blood test and everything and came out with straight A's, you know, with regards to my health. Um, so of course, you know, the, my situation was a little bit ideal and to, to be able to um, follow the, what I was doing. So here was the real test was, you know, could I continue to maintain uh, a healthy lifestyle through extremely difficult times. And um, in answer to that, yes, I was able to do it. Um, simply because the discipline was already there. Uh, I was able to, you know, not deviate from what I was already practicing. Now, I wasn't perfect. There were times when I did deviate, but again, I was able to immediately return back to a low-fat vegan 
lifestyle. And I continue to exercise. I, I'm a runner, so I, I do mostly running. And um, I also practice um, other things like maintaining a positive mental ad attitude, which I found to be extremely important as well. I'm not going to say it was easy, but I can honestly say that eating predominantly fruits and vegetables, a plant-based diet that was low fat, I was able to face my worst fears and get through this. Um, which to me is tells me that eating this way is very helpful in regards to dealing with highly stressful situations because you know there's always that question well okay it's fine you can eat that way because and you can live that way because well your your situation's ideal whereas i have a highly stressful job and or you know i'm going through these extremely difficult times and i just can't do this right now and so maybe later but i found that by eating a low fat vegan diet i was it gave me it kept me strong it gave me clarity of thought and my emotions were stable i mean i i don't get me wrong i they were intense and there there were a lot of negative emotions that i had to to deal with on an ongoing basis but it was stable nothing I did not feel out of control at any moment, at any at any moment in time. I, I was able to navigate myself through some very dark places. <sighs> Anyways, it's difficult to talk about it and and you know, I don't this video is not about wanting to lay blame anywhere. I just wanted to share with you that I was able to do it and maintain a healthy lifestyle. And eating a low-fat vegan diet of predominantly fruits and vegetables was essential to maintaining my health. So now, now is a time of healing. Now things are calm. We've settled the separation issue. And I'm on my own, and so now it's, it's a time of healing. And that, too, is painful in a, in a different kind of way, because now I'm able to go through the hurt that I experienced from all of this, that I, I didn't have time to go through when I was in the middle of it. And still, though, maintaining a healthy lifestyle, eating well, fruits and vegetables is again essential to get me through this time of healing as well. So thank you for watching this video um, and thank you Graham once again for encouraging me to put this video up. Perhaps I'll put more up in the near future. I think I will. And um, yeah. <laughs> I lost my train of thought there. Anyways, have a great day and eat your fruits and vegetables.